Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami. Today I'm going to show you how to create launches or tapered sections in Sumo. As you can see here in Sumo, I have made a very basic portal frame with two columns and rafters. Before I can add my launches, I'm going to add in construction lines 600 millimeters to the inside of each column. This will make it easier for me to snap and to know where my tapered sections should stop. I'm also going to add construction lines along my rafters, again to make snapping easier. So now I can just shorten my rafters to the point where they connect to the tapered sections. I can now draw in my haunched sections. As you can see when drawing it in, the section looks the same as the rafter. After doing this, I'm going to add another section from my database. I'm going to choose the same one that I used for the rafter, which is the 203 by 133 by 25. In the sections table, I'm going to change the name of the section to rafter haunch. You can call it something else if you like, it's just to distinguish it from the other section. I also now have to specify the depth of my haunch, which I'm going to make 200 millimeters, that is 0.2 meters. I have to specify in the beam properties the start and end of the section. So I select both of them to make the start rafter haunch and the end of and the sec to make the section. So I select both of them to make the section start rafter haunch and the section end rafter. Now you can see how the section varies along its length. This section here is the wrong way around because the start of the section is on the other side. This is due to how I drew it in. If I just swap the start and the end section around, you can see that it is correct now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel.